Money. What is money? I remember being at um, a corner store in uh, New York. Some people call it the bodega, depending on their um, nationality. And I was in there playing the numbers. I was in there, you know, playing some scratch and win. And I remember there's this guy, uh, I think he was um, Afghanistani. He said, money is funny. And the more I scratched, the more I thought I would win. But the more I scratched, the more duds I ended up with. And so a lot of persons here are looking for something, looking for something more, looking for something more for yourself, for your family to grow personally and financially is going to stretch you. And so unlike my Afghanistani friend, I'm going to say that money isn't funny. But there are some basic principles and guidelines concerning money. I want to call them the rules of money, which you must abide by if you really want to get ahead. And so one of the things I want to talk about when it comes down to money uh, is simply this. Money is currency. Money is flowing. There's a, an abundance of money in the world. There's no shortage, you know. Absolutely none. As a matter of fact, one of my ideas of money um, comes from one of the theories of physics, Newton's laws, where it says that, you know, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. That's one of the laws. But there's also a law that says energy that cannot be created nor destroyed, but simply flow from one body to the next. And I want you to have this fresh new understanding of money, this currency that flows. That money, wealth, is created, right? And it can be destroyed. But money and wealth is currency and it simply flows from one person's bank account or one person's institution to another. So the key thing is, What are you doing today to allow that flow of currency to transfer from somebody else's uh, bank account or wallet into yours to build up your financial house, right? So when it comes down to money, uh, one of the biggest problems that a lot of people will have in Jamaica is, Lord, the cost of living is so high. We're being taxed to the max. We're being taxed left, right, front, and center. Now remember, money flows. A lot of us, um, in the traditional sense, thought that it was, you hear the cliche, going to school, working hard, getting a good education so that you can get a good, high-paying job. A, A, one good, high-paying job. Guys, these are different times. The world has never been as complex as it has been as right now. Think about it. So you got the degree. You got the degrees. You have the bachelors, the masters. Some of you even went ahead and got the PhD. You have as many degrees as a thermometer. And now you come out as a big wig. Each degree you're getting raising the temperature expecting to raise the financial bar of your bank account when you go to get a job. Newsflash, guys. Education is expensive. So one of the big mistakes that a lot of people make, and we're going to talk about money mistakes, and we're going to bracket it into age ranges of 20s, 30s, and 40s. One of the big mistakes that we make in Jamaica is placing too much value and emphasis on education. There are a lot of persons who are investing in education and they're investing in the wrong degree. Guys, you simply have to make yourself marketable. We're living in an age where everything is now skills-based, right? What skill, what competency do you have that people need? Remember, it's currency. How are you going to get money to flow from their wallet or their bank account into yours? You need a skill. 
a lot of persons are going to school to study the humanities and the arts and there's nothing wrong with that. But never have I heard somebody say, oh, I need somebody who has a, 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 a degree in the arts, in philosophy and history to come and so no. What is your skill set? So I wanted to shift the mindset away from getting a degree, especially a degree that can't bring in the ducats, right? To working and thinking about what sort of skill set, right, can I get, can I develop, can I work on so that I become an asset, so that people need me because I can offer a service to get money to flow from their bank account to mine. That's a transfer of currency. So, now that we have that out of the way, to say that whatever you need to be doing in this 21st century needs to be skill-based, I want to address one of the big elephants in the room. All right? One of the big elephants in the room is, all right, now that I have the skill set, I have one skill or one job, but I have so many bills to pay. Have you ever thought about that? The one job serves so many. One job, light bill. One job, water bill. One job, car payment. One job, school fee. One job, car insurance. One job, groceries. One job, entertainment. One job, you got the picture. Your salary is tired. And a lot of persons are living from paycheck to paycheck simply because your salary or your source of income is overworked. So guys, we're unpacking this thing. We're learning that what you need for the 21st century is a skill set to serve so that you can transfer the flow of currency from theirs to yours. And then secondly, multiple source of income. Are you thinking outside of the box? What is it that you can do in addition to what you're already doing to make more money come in? Because guys, if your one source of income is serving so many expenses and utilities, it will pop down and it will maga. And that's what we call in Jamaica, hand to mouth. Let's unpack it in the next episode. Thank you so much, guys.